Baker Mayfield and Saquon Barkley were the first two picks in the 2018 NFL Draft. They shared the same field in their first career NFL action when the Giants hosted the Browns during the preseason opener. Now they almost certainly are going to finish first and second in NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year voting. But who takes home the honor and who is the runner-up? The winner will be announced at the NFL Honors on on the eve of the February 3 Super Bowl in Atlanta. Giants GM Dave Gettleman might have stopped round three NFL draft drought, should he trade up in 2019, the top two picks in the NFL draft have not finished as the top two vote-getters in Offensive Rookie of the Year voting since 2012 when no. 2 Robert Griffin III, Redskins beat out number 1 Andrew Luck, Colts, in a battle of quarterbacks. In an ironic twist, third-round pick and third-place finisher, Russell Wilson, Seahawks, is the only one of the three to appear in a Super Bowl, with a win and a loss in two trips to the game big game. So how do Barkley and Mayfield measure up after one season? Here are Barkley's rookie year stats, 16 games and 16 starts, rushing, 1,307 yards, 5.0 yards per carry, 11 touchdowns receiving, 91 catches, 721 yards, 4 touchdowns, 0 combined fumbles. Here are Mayfield's rookie year stats, 14 games and 13 starts, passing, 63.8 completion percentage, 3,725 yards, 27 touchdowns, 14 interceptions rushing, 3.4 yards per carry, 7 combined fumbles, 3 long Ross Barkley's arrival helped the Giants improve from three wins in 2017 to five in 2018. Mayfield's arrival helped the Browns improve from zero wins in 2017 to seven plus a tie in 2018. Case closed in favor of Mayfield, right? Not so fast. Watch the video above as NJ Advance Media's Giants beat reporter Ryan Dunleavy explains why Barkley, not Mayfield, should win Offensive Rookie of the Year honors. Then stay tuned February 2nd when Dune Levy reports live from the awards show. Ryan Dune Levy may be reached at rdunelevy at advancemedia.com. Follow him on Twitter at rydunelevy. Find our Giants coverage on Facebook.